Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I weave a paracord bracelet. There's a lot of tutorials online and that's actually how I uh, learned. It took me a little while. I about drove myself nuts, but it's really simple and I hope I can show you actually what I'm going to do is the, the little handle that I hold my camera with, which is this. I'm going to weave uh, I'm going to weave some paracord around it and actually what it takes is uh, for every inch you weave it takes a, about a foot so and this looks to be about seven inches so I'm going to put seven feet I could do a multicolor, but I'm just going to do a uh, one color I think maybe a blue and uh, I can always unweave it and use it for something else and, you know but anyway, uh, hold on and I'll get everything ready and show you what I'm doing. Actually, as you can see, I've cut off six, about six and a half feet. That was six and a half inches. So I cut about six foot three inches. And for as a rule, they say a foot for every inch. But I, I mean, I, I sometimes end up with extra. And I'm going to try to set this camera to where you all can see. I'm going to weave this little thing right here. That's my little handle for my camera. As you can see, you can do it any way you want to, but I've got it hooked to a chair with a little, uh, like a key clamp or whatever you call that thing there, clasp, uh, climbing rope clamp or whatever. And But you can do many things. Uh, I hope you can kind of see this. And what you do is you get your cord even like that right there you even it up on the ends this is your seven strand paracord 550 and I go in behind here where I'm gonna start weaving actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook a small coat hanger to this and hold it out here with my legs because you want to keep this straight okay and I hope you can see this I'm gonna come over and this was the easiest way I learned how to do this. You come under this and back up through here to start. And as you can see, that knot is on that side. You see that knot? And that looks like you would actually start over here now and come over. But no, it's the opposite of what you think. This comes over here like this. You come across. Let me make sure I can... Y'all can see what I'm doing. Pull this out. This is a, you, once you get going, it's really easy. You pull this on this side, bring this under on the same side, and bring it up through here. I'm not, if I can use both hands, I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna tighten this and show you what it looks like, actually, if I can. I don't have anybody to hold the camera, so let me tighten that real tight. And as you can see, that's starting of your cobra weave, okay? You keep it tight and pushed up, and you'll have a real pretty weave when you get done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave a little ways down and show you what it looks like. I'll set my camera here. I hope you can see. I don't know. I've never kind of done stuff like this, but there's hundred. Like I said, there's hundreds of tutorials. There's a lot of good tutorials online on how to do this. There's a lot of different weaves you can do, but I like this weave. I made a belt and I double weaved it. I went over it two times, and I'm gonna show it to you. It's really nice. It's a nice belt, and. Uh, you can make a lot of things with this paracord. It's just awesome. And the one thing about the way you weave it, you can take it back apart and reuse it. If You know, it's for survival, basically. If you're out in the woods and you get in a bind and you need some rope, you just unravel your bracelet or whatever you've got. Now, my belt has a 100 foot in it, which is a lot, you know, because I made the belt bigger than I really needed. But... It's got a hundred foot, and as you can see, that's coming along pretty good right there. So, there's a lot of, you know, I started to get into doing this and selling these, but there's so many people doing it that it's just,
just about not, it's not profitable. So I do it for fun, my kids, I make them things, and uh, make myself stuff, so. But, you know, if you want any information on it, what I know, I'd be glad to share it with you. Just shoot me an email on, on YouTube here, and uh, subscribe to my videos or whatever you want. You know, I'm going to be doing some other things. But I hope you all can see what how this is coming along. I know this looks awkward, but I've just got a pattern that I do, and it works better for me if I come over, under, and back up. A lot of people make the S loop, and that confuses me, okay? As you can see, it's coming along. Does that not look cool? You can make keychains. You can make a lot of different things. If I could figure out a way to hold my camera, I could put it on my fat belly, I guess. Let me make sure this is pointing the right way. I got my TV on in the background. Hardly ever watch it, but it's a noise maker and it keeps me company. Over, down through here, and up and under. The easiest weave I've ever seen. Once I figured it out, I was like, wow, I watched too many videos, and it confused me. Basically, it's like some guy was like, you got to make an S, you got to do this, and you don't have to do that. You basically come over, under, and back through this hole, and you just, if you get confused on what side, it's the side with the knot right there. It's the side with the knot. That knot, it, that is the side that you come back, that you use. You basically, you come back over here, under. I'm probably going to get a lot of thumbs downs on this video because, I don't know, there's a lot of real good videos online, but, you know, give them to me. Who cares? I'm just doing it for fun. I enjoy doing doing these videos, and and you know, if it helps somebody, great. If you get a kick out of it, great. I don't matter. So it's just something I like to do. And, you know, I don't know if I'm even going to have enough. I may have goofed, but it don't matter. This is just something I want to. I wanted to hang it on my camera, and if somebody says, wow, that's cool, well, what'd you do? I'll say, I made that, and, you know, probably a lot of people. There's a lot of people in the world that probably never seen them, but they're pretty popular right now. Survival bracelets, keychains, belts, uh, gun slings, uh, you name it, they're making stuff out of this. And then yeah, I got some samples. The next video I make, I'll show you how to... Uh, actually make a bracelet and put you a snap clip on it to start with and weave it because the ones with the knot are okay i like them but that you just slip through the hole but the ones with the uh the snap clip what i did is i went to the dollar tree and i bought a couple of dollar uh cat break necklaces and they had, I cut the snaps off of them, and then I got to thinking that was stupid. I could just order some off of eBay, so I ordered me some black clip snaps off of eBay, and they haven't come in yet. But I've been making the bracelets with the loop and the hole, and you just wrap around your wrist. And, uh, but I'm almost at the end, and I'm going to show you what this thing looks like. I'm not a blue lover. My daughter wanted blue because she likes the Florida Gators. The Lord knows why. We live in Tennessee. And she likes the Florida Gators. And I made her a blue and orange bracelet with a snap clip. And uh, I need to raise her better than that, I guess. But as Big Ball Daddy said, would say, oh no, what's she doing? Huh? Probably. What's she thinking? But anyway. I am almost at the end of this. That's probably, I might go one more time. I want to leave a little hole in the end. Just, I, I don't know if I can even feed this back through my camera, but there, 
is the finished product. Does that look good or what? Okay, and what you do is you cut these off with a pair of scissors and take a lighter and just singe those ends there and melt them and kind of mash them in. You can use a candle or whatever you want to use, but I use a lighter. But if you're going to do a bunch of them, just have you a candle available. The next one I'll show you, I'll show you how to put a, a bright, make a bracelet and put a snap clip on it. See, you can do one of these in 10 minutes or so. So, hope you enjoy the video. And subscribe, say hi, whatever. Add me as a friend. Uh, comment. Uh, whatever. So, have a great day. Yeah, and I promised you I'd show you my belt, which this was the first one I ever made. Basically what I did was I left it loose on the ends and uh, it's still not, it was just a, there was a, there was a single weave and then I went back over it and I actually double weaved it and it turned out really good. It's the uh, first one I ever made, it took me about two hours to make it, but I just used the two old buckles like these. And what I do is I just wrap it through and tuck it, you know, but there's a lot of different ways to make, you know, and I've got several of these old belts like these that come with shorts. Well, I've already cut that one off. Let's see. Several of these old belts like this you get with a pair of shorts and right there. Uh, I never use these belts, but anyway, you can cut those buckles off and use them. Or you can use about anything. You can go to Walmart or, well, not necessarily Walmart, King of China there, Walmart. But when you live in a place like we live, that's about all we have. You can go about anywhere. You can order this stuff offline too. So basically you can use your imagination and make anything you want. So have a good day. And that was just another thing I wanted to say on this video. So thanks.